Okay, so when my sister is trying to rubber band hard. How, just explain how it works, Alice. Okay, so we have the rubber bands on top. Can you explain it? Yeah, yeah. All right, so we put this together so that this could to, to make sure that this doesn't come together so it won't go. And then when we take the rubber bands and wrap this around here, and then the other side too, this kind of like turns to make it have force to go, which pushes these wheels as well. Which and, yeah. then, and this moves. This moves the wheel because this tan piece connects to the wheel, so everything moves to the axle. And these also are here to hold to hold the thing so that the weight will carry it. And now we're gonna show a demonstration. We have to show a demonstration for it. That's different. Oh, wait. Okay. I can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's supposed to go fluent. It's the video. <laughs> oh, no. I right, got it. Okay. And then, oh, oh. And then add the weight to Rubber band car motion. Okay, so the speculations of the car are there are three support factors for these back wheels, which are happen to be larger than the front wheels for motion purposes. And there's one support factor connected to the axle and the wheel to produce motion, especially when winded up to create force of motion. So the way the rubber band works is that there is a rubber band that is winded back when you turn the axle and that powers the car. And then there are two rubber bands that connect to the front to counteract the force of the car so that it doesn't move backwards as much when the car is finished moving. Okay, then we have the two support to hold the load while it's moving. So we're going to wind it up by spinning the axle. Two minutes! Two minutes! Two minutes, guys. Oh my god! <laughs> and we are going to make it so there's more friction on the rubber band because that helps. Then we're going to place it in the center so that we can know the straightness of the car. And this produces And then we let it go. Motion! This produces motion!
Amanda, describe, please. Or Dominique. Dude, that's my butt in the camera's face. Why would you do that? This is our last recording, so please, can we just describe how, how it works? She's not talking. Talk. We need to finish this. We have a minute left. Car that two two different wheels wouldn't work, so we did the same thing wheels, and then we built this to hold the weight, so that way it wouldn't fall off, and that way it wouldn't go through the rubber band, and then we have the rubber band so that it'll be able to move so that that can be like the engine almost and then we have these brown pieces to help um, that it? Okay, so this is the car, and we did big wheels because in our last car trial, they went faster than the small wheels. And up here is our, you can't go through it, it's for holding the weight. Get the weight, get the weight. And it doesn't move, and then down here, it's the rubber band, it's tied to this side, and then... We're going to wrap it around this side on the axle. Okay, you don't have to do it right now because this is the wrong axle. Okay, and so yeah.